All right, so next bit of information here for anyone concerned. Essentially, once you get your jumpers installed, which there are eight total, of course, if you have an eight cylinder, four if you have a four cylinder, and I believe if you're doing batch fire, you're only going to need four, but I'm not running batch fire because I try to not live in the 80s. So since I have sequential, we're looking at eight injectors. You've got your eight jumpers here all the way down. The ones that concern the distributor itself, since I'm running a TFI module at the moment, and I'm just going with what is more plug and play rather than screw around with EDIS or anything like that, is to essentially have to install, there's gonna be two more jumpers you're gonna have to install. So far, I don't see anything else. Um, I'll go back and edit this if that's the case, if something else is included in this that I missed, but if you're running TFI, you're going to essentially need to install your, your JP2, which is here. You'll see it actually is labeled distributor in. So go figure, pretty straightforward. Um, the one that I found was actually kind of harder to identify as you dance around looking at all this tiny print. Not old, but it's not easy to read. This is your 19 right here. This is actually your distributor, whether you're operating in 5 volt reference or 12 volt reference. In this case, 12 volt reference on the TFIs. So you're going from two to three. Pay attention to see that one that's right there in front of that pin on the bottom right. It is by the five volt. They specifically tell you in the, in the instructions, not destructions, jumper position two to position three. I can see a lot of people screwing this up if you're not paying attention. Um, it seems to be kind of a consistent thing that most ignition systems operate in 12 volts. I don't know of very many that operate in five volts. I know that the system itself operates with a five volt reference to most of the sensors, which makes plenty of sense because that's still common today, but your typical ignition system is always, always 12 volts. Uh, it just is a much more robust system in that case. So in terms of, appears to be just in the basic jumpers, you're looking at these here for your ignition, these for your fuel, there's one down here, which by the way, that's kind of hidden. This is injector seven. And then you've got your two up here, despite it being out of order, it is definitely correct. So you're looking at a whopping total of 10 that are included that you need to put on here for a 5.0 sequential fueling, HO, 87 to 93 Fox. I assume 86 as well, assuming the harness works. Um, maybe you have to deep in, I don't know. But I had five of the jumpers left over. I don't know how many you'll have. I guess it depends on your local draw when they give you a bag, but so far that's where we're at. So to continue on with the jumpers, um, you're looking at essentially the list that they include of all the different things that you could potentially need. Um, it's, when you order the kit, you essentially tell them what you're doing. Um, I'm sure if you told them you wanted more jumpers, I highly doubt that those cost that much. But essentially, they will, you know, supply as many as you need, um, and then you can go through and actually start adding additional pieces on here. You know, I imagine with as you go through and decide to expand the system and, and do more with it, they will probably have different kits that do different things. I know the system is still relatively new. I don't even think it's a year old now that I I purchased it. But you can see here for the guys that are concerned. Um, and I know there's a couple guys through Corral that have actually asked me about it and they are, seem very concerned about it. I, you know, you, you can argue math versus speed to city all day. Everybody has their opinion. Uh, but you see that there are, you have your JP 10 and then you also have down here, there's a couple different um, outputs and sensors for, and j jumpers for specifically running math. They do work, they are there. So don't think that you're gonna get the hood pulled over you when you buy it you have the ability to run uh, math with this system. And Tuner Studio is relatively good at tuning math. It just is more known for speed density. Everybody has their own opinion about it. I mean, for Christ's sake, the speed density is literally built into the entire system. Well, technically the math is, but it's all there. You know, you can try and use something crazier like Alpha N, or I can't even think of what the other ones are, but. Stuff that I these completely goes over my head, and I know it can tune speed density, and I know it can tune math. So I have the option of either, fortunately, you know, blind squirrel finds an acorn 
in the uh, woods every now and then. So, um, but yeah, so it's a pretty surprising list here um, as far as everything that's included that you can do with it. Just depends on you making the call as far as what you wanted to do and when. Um, obviously, this does have an output that can control an electric fan, which is huge for me because I absolutely hate any of the controllers. And I don't want to pay $200 for a nice box system. As great as they are, those things are astronomical, especially considering I paid about $1,000 for this system here. And I can hook up a couple relays and be, you know, doing pretty well. So, plus I can adjust it. It's all digital, it's all controlled, and it controls their ground, so there's no, no concern with having to actually worry about frying them, the living shit out of my overly expensive paperweight. So, um, anyway, but... Something to consider. So that one's for you, uh, for you, Peter, because I know that you were concerned about it.